and uh, and it's very difficult for one group in Sacramento to serve all those needs. Sean Bowler joins us now by telephone. He's a political science professor in the University of California system. So is Draper onto something here, uh, Sean, or is he just completely out of his mind? Uh, well, he's in the same mind as lots of other people. There have been over a couple of hundred of these proposals yeah. uh, over the year. But, uh, no, I think he's just a tech guy. I mean, we've, we have a bit of a history of tech guys wanting to fix some kind of problem or other and, and kind of having the money uh, and background to believe they can do that point about having the money, is there anything, even if you don't expect, you know, six new states to emerge out of this, is there anything maybe that would come of this just because, you know, a guy like Draper keeps it going, keeps the conversation going? Is there any changes that he can enact, or is it just a waste? Uh, probably just a waste. Okay. I mean, it's going to be great if you're in the political campaign industry. It's going to be a payday. You can take his money. You can run his ads. Uh, that's going to be good, good news. Uh, that creates jobs there. But uh, beyond that, it just seems unlikely to be able to go in yeah. I agree with that part. It does bring up this larger discussion of what do we want, what is our goal when we're forming a state? I mean, California, we live in New York, it's a big state. California, it's a huge state. Would making a state smaller, in this case, creating six new states, you know, obviously hypothetical situation, but what problem would that solve in, or, or would it make things worse? Say, you, are smaller states, in other words, more preferable to larger states? Boy, you know, that depends on who you ask and whether you live in one. I mean, um yeah. This is one of those kinds of solutions looking for a problem. I mean, we have 50 <laughs> states. We have, you know, little ones that range from just over half a million to uh, California, which is just under 40 million. And, and you know, it, you kind of look at this big diversity and you look at this range of states, the different right. regulations, are, and it, so it's kind of hard to say, you know, oh, we should all be the same size as Kentucky or Delaware or something. Right. It's just not obvious right from the get-go what is a perfect size the, for the state. The diversity almost... Uh makes it better and creates opportunity for many people. And we've done a number of different stories related to that in one way, shape, or form. Some of them would say, hey, you don't want to pay the state taxes at X state? Move to Y, or whatever the case may be. The idea that you have the choices within such a large country that you can, you know, choose different states that are not all the same, I mean, creates opportunity, don't you think, for a lot of people? Yeah, it does. I mean, there's, there's lots of choice for the 50 states. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'd hate to see somebody leave the state, but, he, I mean, he's perfectly free to go to Texas or one of the right. England states if he's bothered about taxes. Um, or, or, you know, he can go to Washington State if he's bothered about the drug laws or, or wherever. There's lots of variety already, and, and uh, businesses and people are, are free to choose that variety. Sean Bowler, thank you, Professor. And I guess the University of California system will stay as, as one, I would think, unless something really crazy happens. But we thank you for calling in today. We'll talk more about the Draper proposal maybe a little bit later. Again, that news conference is coming up. Also, the thing we'll talk about today is the deadline day with the president's health care law. They're driving more health care providers.